Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Maria from Under the Night Moon, and I'm here to do my second video um, of the latest collection of things for my Etsy shop. I'm trying to turn off my fan here, there we go. And so this is um, a really fun collection that I made just trying to diversify my products and I really love making journals that you can work in yourself and giving you the supplies and things um, you know to have fun and um, I was inspired by Debrina over at the Pixie Dust Files by her absolutely adorable little trim cards and it took me a little while to figure out how I wanted to use them but I just love you know like I said, just giving um, pr things for you to play with and um, creating your own art journal. And so that's what these are. These are art journals. As you can see, I've labeled them one because of the different little dollies. Um, so this is one, this is two, and then three. And just quickly, in case you need to know, they measure sort of like a slim line, I guess, or a traveler's notebook. These are nine by five and a half, not including the little fringe here. Um, and so each one has a different little dolly. The insides are completely um, exactly the same, except for one little card, which I will show you as we go along. Um, also, too, I just want to quickly say that, Anne, if you are watching, this is your absolutely beautiful, um, oh gosh, this is like fiber galore fringe trim. And she sent me this beautiful Happy Mail that touched my heart so much, I can't open anything. This I dove into because there's a ton of it. Um, but the little packages and things you sent, I just treasure them. I can't even open them. They're so beautiful. So I just have to send a quick little thank you to Anne. Oh my gosh. Thank you a million times a million. So sweet. I know I have the sweetest people. I just have to thank you all for watching and leaving me comments. Oh gosh. It's just really, if you knew, the highlight of my world. <laughs> okay, so I'm showing you one, two, and three. Um, I'm gonna open up, um, let me go in order, that way it's easier for you. In case you're interested, you will know. Um, I'm only gonna flip through one, but I'm gonna show you the one card that's different in each one. Um, okay, so on the cover is the little trim card. Also, I tied three different types of ribbon for you um, to craft with as well. Um, and so you can just have fun using these you can choose one to keep it closed together you can use um, things that you have in your stash um, that sort of thing this is a little die cut where you can put a little picture on the back I put some star charms and a pretty little rose but I wanted to make sure I gave you some nice ribbons to play with so we have that to start with um, this is the trim card I have it sewn or not sewn but tied onto this die cut um, oh, excuse me, card. All the papers, or most of the papers here are from the Pixie Dust Files. This whole thing has been inspired by Debrina over at the Pixie Dust Files. Debrina, if you're watching, I adore you. Happy craft, crafter day. <laughs> um, but look at these papers. When I printed these, I just fell in love. I mean so absolutely gorgeous this is the center you can see this is the one card that's different in each one which I'll show you as we flip through um, but I just want to just give a shout out to the pixie dust files all the links for these will be down below including the trim cards and if you have the trim cards or Eddie already you can make more of these you know how fun to just keep making little cards and then when you feel inspired you can open up your art journal and and have fun so each card gets a sample of, and let me show you here, um, the lace, which this is from my mom's studio. So you get um, a good amount of this, probably about a yard. Not quite sure, I didn't measure, I just made them nice and pretty. So you get some of this. You also get some of this pink trim here. 
which I will show you. And this is good for edging, just decorative. You can just use a little tiny bit. So I gave you some of that. Of course, I gave you the roses. I gave you an eyelet underneath, which is a vintage eyelet as well. And I love this one with the circle pattern. Again, you can make this into a really pretty little eyelet ruffle. And that's just a simple stitch. And then you pull one of the strings gently or you don't have to, um, you can just use it as a trim like so. So you get a little bit of that. What else did I put on here? And then this really pretty um, chiffon fabric, which I um, did about, I don't know, is that maybe a little under two inches? And let me see if that's right here, yes because this also will make a really pretty ruffle. And so I gave you some of this. It's a sheer, it's gorgeous, it's floral in all the right colors. And then I attached with a little bull pin, um, a rhinestone heart and a pearl. And then I tied it with just some simple string on the back. This is a wonderful journaling card using the pixie dust file papers. And then on the back of each trim card is, um, I did some stamping of some dots and it's backed with um, cardstock. So it's very sturdy. And I just love this little package. She is ready to have some fun. So that is the first little collection of goodies. And then this is a double die cut. I didn't show you of the number. I kind of gave it a little shadow color behind there. Okay, um, each book is tied with this gorgeous pink um, satin ribbon with extra. I covered the um, sewing, the pamphlet stitch sewing with some really pretty ribbon to just inspire you. You know, if you go to the craft store and you see a ribbon that you love, you know, add it. If it's something that you love, you will love looking at it. That's my rule, you know. Um, just add things that you love. And then, of course, the fringe I showed you, I did put a little gold on there for fun. I stitched wallpaper on the inside, and then I stitched all the way around. So you've got a nice durable cover. And then the back always has something, so while you're working in it, um, this won't get, you know, um, worn down. And then this is some of my favorite wallpaper here. It's just a really pretty pastel. It just matches everybody. I did line the spine with some green vintage linen. So I just placed that in the center and then I stitched over it so it goes all the way down just for extra durability there. So there, and I left this open for you to, you can use this as a little clipboard. I gave you plenty of things to use, like this giant paper clip that you can use to hold things in. So I left one side plain. And then um, as we go through, you're gonna see, I did not decorate this book at all. All I did was give you um, things to play with. So, um, and little paper clips, this little heart paper clip a gorgeous postcard. I did put a little trim on here just to get you started, a little inspiration. And then in terms of papers and things, I tried to give you a variety, um, including this beautiful die cut and a Griffin cardstock, plenty of pixie dust file papers, as you will see again, if you have her papers in your stash, oh, I need to come down a little bit. I need to apologize to my last video. I'm not in frame. And I'm so sorry, I'm gonna keep my eye on that. I don't know why that's happening either because I haven't changed anything. But anyway, um, so you can just use all kinds of different papers in here. I really just wanted you to have something that you could play with, have fun and not stress about papers or colors or anything. Um, and so on the other side of that, and you know, each page is ready for journaling as well or you know, if you want to do some colored pencil on here, a light watercolor, it's all um, just fun papers for you. Uh, this is a little library pocket that I made. Um, I put a little bingo card in there for you. And from the Swan Parade, one of our gorgeous, beautiful swans. 
um, and that's just on the other side of there. Uh, some beautiful sort of, um, I wouldn't say it's iridescent, but it's close. It's like a pearly, beautiful white paper, ready for journaling, a gorgeous vintage doily with the real roses. I love the vintage ones. You can see the pattern of roses on there. Plus they're just made better. They're, they're stronger, more durable, just love. I made a postcard for you. I mean, my last video I spoke about my die cutting station is closer. So you're gonna see a lot more die cutting um, in my work, which is great because I love it. It's so much fun. Here I used a deckled edge. I hand stamped the postcard for you and you can actually send this off, but I thought what a fun surface for you to do art journaling on. Uh, printed some gorgeous rose paper and then the amazing, absolutely gorgeous pixie dust files, shabby pink. Oh my gosh, this paper I just want as wallpaper in my own house. I want my whole house to be like wallpapered in this. <laughs> yes, I just love it. Love it, love it. Debrina, I am crazy for these papers. She knows. She has to listen to me carry on. Um, but let's see, on the other side of the postcard, I had some fun just showing you that different papers and I just happen to love this paper. And so again, I die cut it with this fun little scallop border, little tag to show you that if you love it, it will make you happy. And so a lot of people would think, oh, I don't know if that yellow matches, but you can see, I think it looks beautiful. So don't be afraid to mix and match your colors. Um, a beautiful little die cut, fragile little embossed frame, which I love with this pattern. You could put a picture of a loved one there some fun flourishes and this i believe is a sticker let me write sticker which is always fun you can just add this anywhere love that and then just beautiful embossed card stocks um pages were fun i just chose um well let me take everything out the embossing i did some stamping with the splatter stamp some vintage graph papers some really um, beautiful cotton uh, sketchbook paper, I think that is, my favorite pink. There's a few tabs in here, but I will show you. Um, and then I use this beautiful yellow as a page. Let me go back here just so we don't get lost. Um, again, just more pixie dust files, beautiful papers. This would be such a fun book to um, use her papers in. These are her blue tags. Again, I will link everything down below. Um, one of my favorite papers of hers is this absolutely beautiful rose pattern. It's just dreamy, it's heavenly to me, that is heavenly. And then I die cut this really fun um, trim card. It's got two little notches here, so if you wanted to wrap string around there or twine, embroidery thread, you have a place to do at least three different colors on here. So I gave you one of those. I put this little pocket here, and again from the Swan Parade, I had to add her. She's so sweet. And what I used was a scallop punch that was a little bit bigger than the actual art. And you can see it created that really fun white border. So love that. Okay, and so I showed you these papers, and then I did use um, the yellow paper as a, um, I'm going to take all this out as one of the pages. You can journal on the back, you can put photos on here, you can journal. Um, I happen to have a hot pink gel pen, which would be really fun on here, or orange or green. You know, have fun contrasting your colors um, like this here, so much fun. So that is really like in an art journal, um, the most fun is to just have fun with your colors. Um, here is another fun little trim card. I gave you this really fun, and let me see if I can show you, yeah, because I don't want to take it apart. Oh, maybe I have it here. Hold on. I'll show you so I don't have to unroll it. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Okay, so I gave you some of this really fun uh, fringe. Again, you can use just little bits of this. You can edge your paper with it. You can put some on your pink. 
you can fold some over for the top of a tag and it has like an iridescent tinsel running through it so it's got a little bit of a sparkle not sure if that's showing up on the camera but it's so fun so i gave you some of that i gave you some gold because you all need no I, you need a little sparkle and then a really pretty daisy applique and I only use a tiny dot of glue to hold some of these in place, which um, I had to take one apart, so I know they come apart very easily. Okay, so we got that. I gave you a nice large paper clip here to hold this in place, but to also use as you create in your art journal. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Everybody's doing their lawn today, so I had my windows open, so I had to close them, but okay. This is a bunch of um, book pages that I put together for you. You've got two pages of dictionary paper, and we are in the H. What I love about this dictionary paper is it's the one with the pictures, and so you've got some fun things there, and there like hinges. I think we're in the H's. I gave you a piece of French grammar. I gave you a piece of, um, well, I don't know what kind of book this is, but I love that it said Little Lady. So you got some of that. And then this really fun math um, math book, which you even get the person's notes. So I think that's really fun. <laughs> and so you can have fun with all of these. And then I gave you a tailor-made journal, beautiful card um, to just have fun with. This one that uh, says thoughts. Um, so those are to play with and then you've got some music paper to play with and then the other side of our journaling papers The graph paper Some lined papers. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Hold on. No, this is more papers. Sorry cuz Yeah, this is only one signature. So these are in addition to These are not the other side of these these are these are in addition to sorry. That's my bad um, just some fun writing papers that's right. And then I made um, I made a pocket center for you. I did stamp these beautiful flowers on here to kind of give you inspiration that you can stamp on all of these papers. All you need is a hard surface underneath. Um, I like to use a stamp block. So if you have a stamp block and you're using like um, rubber stamps you can stamp that way again if it doesn't come out perfect do not worry it's handmade and sometimes those are the best little um, mistakes so you can use a hard surface you can use um, what else have I used just a hard surface maybe a coaster or a ceramic tile works anything hard like that um, and then I stitched I created the pocket and then um, I did I didn't know which one I liked better when I was die cutting the number, so I had an extra set of numbers, so I put the coordinating number inside each book. And then here are some more things for you to play with in this pocket, but you can see all of this space for you to stamp, um, have fun with your inks, your punches, right? Um, let's see, this is some really beautiful um, vintage stationery. And you can see it's like a linen quality. Once you hold it, you'll be able to see it. It's got a texture to it, a very fine texture. Um, I gave you a vintage receipt to play with because I love the typography in those. A fun little coin envelope for you to stamp on, cut and paste your images. You can fussy cut this rose, um, all kinds of things for you to play with and a piece of some craft trim. This is like a toile pattern, really pretty. I thought it looked so pretty with the rose. And then we have another page of um, this absolutely stunning paper. Just absolutely crazy for these um, papers of hers. And then um, I made another little um, trim card for you on some printed wallpaper. You get this fun little embroidered applique, some more sparkle another piece of some vintage trim. And then I gave you from her um, super fun heart collection, a pretty heart to play with, another fun little heart paper clip, and that's just clipped onto here like so, ready for you 
um, to journal with, tell your story, have fun, just forget about the world and break out your art supplies, glue stick, cut and paste, scissors. It's so much fun um, to kind of get lost in the papers and things. Um, and of course, um, this book will come with an extra set of goodies. And I will just show you quickly, if I can. Okay, no, because it's not here. Um, you get another little trim card with this book, which didn't make it into the book because it was getting really chunky, but you will receive another one of these. And I don't know where I put them, but um, in addition to some extra things to play with, probably some wallpaper and some extra papers, um, just because I like to make sure that you get plenty of things to play with. Um, and then on the other side, this is from the Pink Palace. And let me just take this off so you can see how beautiful. Look at this giant paper clip. This will hold so many things. Can you see? <laughs> yeah, so everyone got one of those. But look how beautiful. So fun and ready for you. If you have lace bits, let me show you. This is Vintage Bias which I'm pretty sure was meant to fold over things, but this makes the most beautiful shabby bow. I love this stuff. Um, you will see when you start playing with it. It gets kind of beat up, which makes it beautiful. You can see like it's starting to wrinkle a little bit. It's just so shabby and beautiful all on its own. Um, again, just her gorgeous papers. If you got the Pink Palace papers, this would be the perfect book um, to cut and paste and have fun with. Look at this whole page of script. Um, or if you have, like I said, any of Pixie Dust Files papers, I'm telling you, every single one will match in this book. A beautiful little die cut and embossed tag. I did have fun with my hot pink ink. I stamped little, um, a little ticket for you to put anywhere you like. Of course, you can write on there. Again, this will go anywhere. It doesn't matter. Again, you can mix and match everything effortlessly. You don't have to think at all. It's just the beauty of it. And then on this side, I clipped with the giant um, paper clip this really big tag for you to have fun with. How fun, you could put a bunch of pictures on here. You could write a whole story maybe on the back and then have the pictures here to tell about it. You can use some of your ribbons or maybe, you know, it'll give you a reason to go get some fun ribbons and have like a big puffy ribbon collection at the top. This tag, you can see how large that is. This will hold like probably four or five ribbons together at once. I wouldn't pull too hard because you don't want to rip, but I can see a big puffy ribbon up there. Um, but just some beautiful Anna Griffin paper, very sturdy. Um, I gave you one of the tags that I use for all of my tags. I gave you a vintage pink tag to have fun with. And then I stamped, I did put a little splatter on there for you, just so that you um, would not be intimidated by the watercolor paper. This is really nice, really durable. You can do acrylic on here. You can do Posca pens. You can do gel pens, paint, um, watercolor. This paper is awesome. Um, and of course you have a vintage side and a white side. And the vintage side is just because it's really old wa uh, watercolor paper and that's how um, I received it uh, from a thrift shop in Florida. That was years ago I got that. Okay, so this holds all of these on here. And again, once you decorate and have fun, you know you can put them throughout the book and use this giant clip, like I said, as, as like a clipboard or you know, on the back of one of these pages or somewhere else in your office or wherever, you know. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to make sure you had things to work with. Okay, and then everybody got one of Debrina's absolutely precious um, vintage children. And hers are the best because she colors their little cheeks. I just, I love the children that she chooses. Each one has been embossed with gold. And um, I made each one a little pocket on the front and a little pocket on the back. 
and I did use my polka dot paper. I had fun with my Distress Oxide, which I didn't tell you in the last video, but it's worn lipstick. That's the one I love. I do use it all the time. I gave you a little, um, a little card from one of her collections, and then everybody got one of her um, vintage tags, and that just goes in there, ready for a story. Everybody got a sweet little tag to just have more fun with. Ooh, excuse me, and then two more fun little watercolor tags. Again, you can use the ribbon to tie these anywhere, or like I said, go to Joann's and have fun in the ribbon section there. Um, sometimes they do really fun, um, they do really fun sales. So, okay, so that goes there. And then this is the center signature. It is the theater ready for you to tell a favorite story or you have some of your favorite pictures. Um, this would be just an absolute perfect place to put them. And also, let's say you have a favorite lace and you don't want to use it. And I will show you when I have a hard time this was from an antique store in Tampa, and I'm really having a hard time cutting it because, you know, I don't know if the same is for you, but I come across things and, you know, I kind of hoard them a little bit, like I don't want to use them. And so this is one of them. It's just a really beautiful, I don't know if it's hand tatted, but it's a, it's a tatted floral, and I don't want to cut it. I just can't use it. And this is all I have is maybe a yard. So if you have a beautiful lace like that, you know, you can add it to this book and it will forever be here for you to enjoy. Like, isn't that beautiful? So this is a place for you to put some of your most cherished things. And then you don't have to worry about losing it or not using it. Sometimes I you know, feel a little guilty that I'm not using some of the things that were given to me, um, you know, to create with. And so how wonderful, and she's given you this absolutely stunning, shabby background of vintage goodness, yeah. Um, or of course, you can certainly journal about a whole entire, you know, special event that you had and just put all the pictures on the other side here on this text, right? So lots of different ideas. Um, I hope this is inspiring to some degree. Um, okay, so the next page, let me just take everything off to show you what's here. And then this is another trim card for you to fill up. You can go right over this little um, tuck spot here. So what, what I mean by that is you can just go right over it like so. That doesn't bother me any. In fact, it just adds a little something something to your trim. Again, another place for you to have fun with ribbons. Um, I did emboss this paper. I'm really loving the greens lately. Just all oh, the lawns here and the, tree, uh, the trees, the gardens, so magnificent here. Um, again, another gorgeous, beautiful uh, pixie dust file tag for you to just journal with and have fun. At this point, I'm just, you know, putting things together. You can use them however you like. This is a um, vellum sticker of a fun tag ready for you to um, write on and then stick down somewhere. And I gave you a beautiful doily because I think a little bit of doily on any of these pages would be gorgeous. On any of these papers, you could put it behind the heart and make a special Valentine. So many fun ideas with a doily. So I gave you one of those and I clipped that using a little pink paper clip, or not paper clip, um, clothespin. Again, for you to use as you journal in this book. You see, now we're on the other side of the papers. And then on this side, I gave everybody a piece of this really fun scrapbook paper. It's just really fun and you get a huge piece of it, right? How fun, you can just cut off a little corner here and there. It's almost um, printed in a way where you can just take little corners off of it. You can cut little tabs out of it. If you have any punches, you can use punches, so fun. Um, everybody got a piece of the pink palace paper, beautiful journaling card, ready for pictures and a story. 
And then this is a digital stamp. This is an image that I don't remember where I got this from, but I just made it into a little tag. So beautiful, ready for some trims. Maybe you have um, a favorite little applique that you wanna put on there. Uh, this is the other side of the pocket. And I did stamp the same rose stamp on the other side. This paper stamps really beautifully. Again, another pocket, and I did punch, I don't know if I showed you before, like this, it's like a curtain pattern, which I thought was appropriate. Um, and then everybody got a beautiful die cut with the scallop edge. You can see there is Anna Griffin. This gorgeous paper, gorgeous, gorgeous, ready for pictures and a story. A really beautiful postcard, which you can mail. <laughs> And I use wildflowers. Um, I only had a little piece of this um, pearlized embossed paper. I think this is from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember, but I just love it. Again, another little piece here and there throughout the book would be so fun. And you don't need a lot of it. So I gave you a piece of that. I just, I, the piece I had, I cut in thirds. And so each book has the same amount i would have done more if i had it um, but i might have to get more hopefully they still have it i did fussy cut one of debrina's beautiful butterflies for you because everybody needs a butterfly and to attach this you're going to do like the h pattern if you didn't watch my um tutorial that i made um with my butterfly kit you just do an h you do one here one here and one across the center and then you just glue it down and so this glue is gonna hold down the wings and then it will be like a three-dimensional little butterfly. <laughs> um, I did um, do a little punch on each one of these. You can fill that in if uh, you're recording something there. Uh, okay, so I showed you that. And then this is the flip side of all the papers, all the journaling papers, the music paper, um, this is the yellow paper. Let me take everything off of here. So you see, you get a lot of stuff in this book um, to really have fun with and have a play at art. You can say, I can't draw a thing, Maria, but you know what? These are so fun. They're already done for you. All you really need to do is have fun. <laughs> okay, so I die cut everybody an envelope. Again, just choosing colors that I like. Right now, I'm just so inspired by the gardens. Um, technically, do they match? Well, in my opinion, they do. I think they're similar enough. I love the contrasting yellows. I love the roses, the florals. Um, this is double-sided as well. And look at all the stuff you could put in there. Um, so I love these little envelopes. I do try to always um, put envelopes in my books. I'm going backwards here, but that's okay. Um, a little gold paper clip holds these on. And then I gave you some washi tape. Um, this is a really beautiful floral pattern here. And I can show you because, <coughs> excuse me again, this is gorgeous. This is, um, I don't remember maybe Hobby Lobby where I got this one from. I don't use it enough. I have a whole bunch. So um, I just thought with the floral patterns again, uh, but this is what it looks like just so you can see the pattern it's really beautiful and so um i know i went around at least three or four times so you have plenty to play with this you only need a little tiny bit right you can just put the roses right there and then maybe journal like a bullet point um, i also gave you some polka dots to have fun with and then this really pretty trim hot pink trim which does match um, the ribbons and things it just everything coordinates together here so you can't mess anything up but again if you love it that's all you need and so i gave you one of those and then on the other side here i made a little um vintage um um oh wait hold on um also on the other side was this embossed little card now this will take ink really nicely. So if you wanna play with inks that you have or watercolor, light watercolor, I wouldn't use a lot of water on this paper, but a little bit you could have fun with or even colored pencils. Um, I love just having fun with embossed paper. So I gave you that as well. Sorry about that, I forgot. 
Okay, and then on this side was the little um, index card pocket. And I learned that from the Pink Strawberries um, YouTube. You can find her easily. She has all kinds of fun um, videos. And then inside each one of these is a bunch of vintage um, graph paper. Everybody got the same. A beautiful tag. One of Debrina's absolutely gorgeous tags from the crown collection she made for me. Everybody got tickets, a little rose, some uh, hand stamped tickets as well, like I said, with my hot pink um, ink. Just a bunch of fun things for you to play with when you go to do your tags. And then of course, this is ready for a story. You can add extra pictures in here and so on. But how fun, right? You can stamp on there. And then I did have three of these little birdies. <laughs> and I just think he looks so cute. So I put him there because, yeah, just loving the birdies. <laughs> um, beautiful pink paper. Here's the other side of the sketchbook paper. And then the graph papers, the card stocks. Um, here you can see where it came from, which is always fun uh the um corner chomper thing the little pieces you might find one or two they drive me crazy they get stuck in here when i round the corners anyway and then the gorgeous gorgeous papers i'm just in love with that the other side of the doily and then we're almost finished everyone um again just giving you more things to play with these are held on by a pretty little um pink paper clip and then i came across these i think they're for tables you know uh, or weddings or you know parties i embossed this really fun swirly pattern i thought it would be fun for you to write on here i would use a sharpie because it's a little bit shiny um, I wouldn't stamp on here because it'll rub, you know, it'll smear, but a Sharpie would work on here. Or if you have a Posca would work, you just have to let it dry, or a Micron pen, these will work on here as well. Um, but you could have fun, maybe write your name in a swirly pattern, you know, do pencil first if you're working on lettering. That's something I would love to do if I had more time. Uh, so I gave you one of those, of course, uh, ready for a story a beautiful rose tag and then of course this is the other side of that pearly white paper so you could journal on here so i gave you those plus i also love let's say you have more doilies in your stash you could um just add doilies and then with glue let it dry and then you can journal on top of them like how beautiful um on the other side of here oops i die cut another fun little envelope for you I love envelope dies. They're so fun. This is just this really fun pink polka dot. It's um, two sided, so it's got this design on the center. And then I gave you a Rolodex card. I gave you a Jane Austen beauty and a beautiful rose. I had fun with my little zigzag scissors, which, well, I put them away, but they're really fun. <laughs> just fun you see you can just have fun with these things um, paper crafting is so fun you don't have to think too hard about it and it takes everything away like you just turn on beautiful music and have fun um, everyone got a beautiful glassine little bag and then I gave you in here a bunch of little tabs for you to put on for you to do right like I usually put all the tabs on there for you but I gave you some um, to use yourself more will come in your extra bag of goodies um, I wanted to use all the papers first and then usually I will um, you know use the scraps to make the tabs I gave you uh, one of these fun little things for you to attach I gave you a really beautiful sticker, uh, a couple of stickers actually. You've got this one and this one. It's a pretty little frame and you can put this anywhere. Um, I would put something dark behind it so that you can see it because it's clear. So if you have a fun little picture of a little grandbaby or a little pet or a brother or sister, you can peel this away and, and um, put a frame over them. Like how fun, right? And then some fussy cut tickets and more stamps for you. 
Uh, so more fun things will come in your bag, but this is a little starter kit for you. Plus, I love giving fun things in little glassine bags. It's just fun. <laughs> and so that goes in there as well. And then the last few um, little bunches of things, um, and you can just see here's the other side of the um, beautiful Anna Griffin paper. And then I gave you one of Debrina's tags. I die cut this beautiful paper, double-sided. This is Prima paper. I think these two look so beautiful together. And then another little envelope die that I have, it gives you the little letter as well. And each one of these is different, but they all coordinate because they're all from the same paper pad. And I just thought that was fun. You could put a little memory in there. And so these all get clipped on with the little pink paper clip. And then, oh wait, I think this one was on this side. Yeah, it was, hold on. This was on this side here, which I love. Let me put these girls back too. Okay, and then um, the very back page, I did attach a pocket for you. And then I gave you another little pocket in here. And I gave you some more fun things in here, which I die cut some of Debrina's backing papers, just more different papers for you. I die cut more of the Pink Palace for you to play with. Everybody got a beautiful yellow label or tag or something for you to play with, have fun, and a beautiful um, just floral tag, just more fun things for you. And then in this little pocket here, I had fun with Debrina's um, words. So everybody got three words to use if they want to. Everybody got um, some fun little die cut um, tabs. Again, perfect for you to put anywhere. You need to put a little tag or you wanna just give something a little decoration. These would be really sweet on top of a present too or on an envelope. And then I do have a fun new stamp <laughs> I had to get it. It was so fun. It was only a dollar, but I just thought, okay, well, you know what? Somebody might have something confidential in their book. And so let me show you. This is it right here. Isn't it fun? It's brand new. It's really, really inky, but I just thought, okay, we must have that in our stash. So everybody got one of these. I'm probably going to incorporate these more in my books just because how fun to put you know, a confidential thing on there. Um, and then this, these need to be signed still, which I will do this one right here. Um, they're all gonna get signed right here. 2024, and then these, um, and then that's it. So that concludes the flip through um, of this, but I'm gonna show you um, inside the other books, the little cuties. So that was one. Two gets this little cutie. And everybody gets the same amount of trims and um, all the little rosebuds. I forgot the little embroidered rosebuds. But everybody gets the same. Oh, and I didn't show you. Everybody gets a piece of bridal trim. I don't know how I forgot to show you that, but I did. A little bit of bridal trim. Um, which you know me I use this all the time in my work so you know I had to give you a piece of that but this is the little cutie for number two and then inside here again everything is exactly the same oh I was looking for that <laughs> I had to do another one because I lost it um, but these are the little cuties inside too so cute okay so that's two, and then three. Let me just also say thank you everyone for watching. Again, another huge thanks to Anne for my happy mail. I love it, I love it. You can see I used it right away. Okay, this is three, and we have this gorgeous little cutie. So absolutely adorable. Love, love, love. And then inside here, is our cuties here like i said they're all embossed with gold they all have the tag and all of the goodies on the back 
ready to go, ready for a story. These are all in my Etsy shop right now. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them for me down below. Don't forget this will come with more goodies, extra trim cards and things in the mail. I want you to have fun. I can't wait to um, hear from you and see what you've made with them. Everyone have a beautiful rest of your weekend. God bless all of you. I love you all. I'm grateful for each and every one of you for your feedbacks, your comments. It just helps me so much. It keeps me going and I'm forever forever grateful so have a great rest of your day and just a huge shout out to Debrina girl I love you and I am so grateful um, to know you and just to be able to use your papers is is amazing and I just I never get tired of them they're so absolutely gorgeous so don't forget keep on keeping on sister <laughs> and that's it everyone have a great rest of your day I will see you in the next video bye for now